We're at Starbucks. We're at Star. Oh, look at a bag of shit. Are you serious? Yeah, it, do it does not look like a poop bag to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we just ordered our Starbucks. I didn't record it because we were using. I think both that the bottles. man didn't. I think he hated that we ordered four items. I have a theory that all Starbucks employees just hate their job, um, and I would hate this job too. So I'm not mad at you for it, but I will say, I get a lot of sass when I go to Starbucks. He goes, okay. I'm, like, I'm, on, my, I'm on my third item, and I wanted to order one more because like there's two of us. He goes, all right. And he's like, oh god. Anything else? Bitch is never gonna finish but your also, order. Also, we from Target or er, what? <laughs> Hey, so we're back from Starbucks and I got the G R C L C H A L M E S P. And Kellen got the C M V B 2 I. It gleaked. I didn't think it would. I've done that. Oh my god. So if I was a guy, or if I was a girl, and me myself was a boy that would have been an egg for me as a man yeah that's a woman. yeah so why did you do it because i'm a girl <laughs> um and they say it's shaken but i guess you do the shaking i got a ham croissant i got a chocolate croissant honestly i fuck with croissant so much dude i the only reason i want to go to france is to eat a croissant. There's a place over in East. Croissant. Sorry. <laughs> there, there is a the place French over bread. in East called Once Upon a Time in France, and mm. we need to go to it. It looks so cute. Wait, okay. So, so like when me and my mom were there, and I was looking at the menu, it was like a little too French. Like it was like escargot vibes. No, they are. It's they're all of them in there only speak French. Yeah, like, but it was like I didn't even know what was on the menu, and when I googled it, and I'm very like I will eat anything yeah. like and i have a very like wide palette for food but some of it like i just i don't know it's not that i wouldn't try escargot because i definitely would but i don't think i would want to try it in america even if it's french people cooking it Respect. you know like i don't know it's kind of one of those things where it's like if i'm gonna eat a bug i'd rather do it in the in the mother country you know this is so good i really wish you could have a bite of it do you want to take a bite of this side without, like... I mean, it's just a croissant. And I, I just ate a croissant. That doesn't look like it has cheese in it. It's just, like, the... It's, like, the salty with the, the buttery of the croissant. It's just so good, you know? You're not a fan? I mean, it was just ham and a croissant. I feel like the cheese the makes cheese it. The cheese makes it. It wasn't a good bite. You're I right. I like the without cheese it, makes it. The life you lactose intolerant people live is sad. It is, but you know what? This world, they're they're coming out with things. It's a for man's us. world. They're coming out with things for us, you know. Yeah. And I think more restaurants need to be better at it. To be quite honest with you. Rip. Like coffee. Like I don't. I hate when there's like actual like dairy milk and coffee. Yeah. Because it like it's too much. Yeah. But then again, I love coconut milk and coffee, which I would say is more than like a whole milk like thickness wise and creaminess wise like coconut milk is so good i love coconut milk which okay so coconut what is coconut milk because when you crack open a coconut it's like the water so is it the pulp and the water blended up probably like how do they make it like stay together because like oh. that was cute though he brought her flowers and he opened the door for her Gentlemen. It doesn't take much, men. Like it it that, to me, that's like, wow, you're cute. Right, and like that right there is like such an easy thing to do. So to me, that's like, you're cute. You did you did the most. Right. And you deserve to be rewarded. Yeah. And that's sad. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's that's the sad like, part. Like, exactly. Like that, like, that was very, very much like the bare minimum. Like, Basic. He opened his... I remember one time I went on a date with somebody and... The fact that he, like, ordered a bottle of wine for the table instead of just being, like... Oh, yeah. She was so impressed by this because I remember the date. And you were, like, being, like, he ordered the bottle of wine and, like, knew what he was doing. But the thing is, 
for you, that is a love language. And I, and I feel like mm. you'd appreciate that regardless. Like, I hate when a man asks me, like, oh, like, what drink do you think I should get? Am I your fucking mind reader? Well, also, I don't know. they went to, like, a wine bar, and the fact that, yeah, like, like, he was knowledgeable, he was knowledgeable to you, that is attractive. We did take a brief break in location change because Kellen's phone overheated. So now we are in my apartment's, like, well, what would you call this? Game area. Game room. Oh. I mean, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Society Seven. I'm Kellen. This is Emily. We're both wearing glasses. Did you know, like, Goofy from, like, Mickey Mouse and Disney and all that? You know, Goofy, the mm -hmm. character? You know, his government name is Goofus D-Dog. I, lear I learned that today. Uh, that Goofus D-Dog. Goofus D-Dog. Yeah, like, Goofus the dog. Goofus the dog. That was smart. Mm. That was smart. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, wait. Have you seen the guy who spent, like... $20,000 to make himself into like a border collie. What the fuck? Wait, 20K to transform himself into a border collie. That's a person. What the literal oh, shit? Of course it's not working, but it's so creepy. And this lady's like, shake, roll over. I mean, looks like a real dog. <laughs> Besides the fact that it doesn't have movements like a dog. But also how is he like, like his body itself, like how is he standing like that, you know? Is he on his knee? Like, you know when he stands up straight? Like, are, how are his legs? See, I feel like if I was walking by in the park, I would definitely think it was just a dog. But what I'm saying is, what, what do you think the form of mental illness is that? Call so like when he goes in public, people think he's like an actual dog. Not like a furry where it's like, they look like a cartoon character. So how does he go to Target? Like a border collie? I don't think dogs are allowed at Target, so. <laughs> I know, but like, I'm saying like, how does he get his like essentials? If like when he's in public, he's a dog. I don't know if he's always dressed up like that, but. I have a lot of questions. But so imagine actually. meeting like a, a boy and you're like, oh my God, he's so cool. He's so fun. Like I'm actually mm -hmm. vibing with him. We're having a great time. He, he loves all the things I love. Like soulmate. Amazing. And then he breaks it to you that he likes to be pet like a dog when he's at home and walk around and bark. Because there's couples like that. Yeah, the thing is, like, I'm not trying to kink shame anybody. But for you, I would probably have to um, be out. Call animal control. Call animal control. If you want to, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I can't do that. Yeah, like, I have to say, all, also respectfully, like, no. Also, wait, we never talked about the aliens. What aliens? The government, like, having that whole press conference stating that we literally have alien life forms here and, like, talking about, like, all the proof that we have that there's aliens and, like, that literal, like, alien spaceships have crash landed here and we've like taken their bodies for like research and shit hmm i don't know yeah and that's the thing nobody cares because the world is so fucked up right now like we don't even care that aliens have like the government was like aliens are real like yeah they're very intelligent life forms like they have a very highly progressed form of technology that's like puts us like millions of years behind and we really don't care because we can't afford to like buy eggs 
even if there were real aliens, what the fuck ever. So they're like trying to come here to be like, fix the problem. Yeah. Or to you even just like, to be like, hey, the water shouldn't be 110 degrees in Florida or whatever. But like Florida, my thing about- Florida, seawater being 100 degrees right now is My insane. thing about the earth is that it actually has all, if we stop, if we just stop as a society doing like all the crazy shit we're doing and like scientists trying to reverse and whatever, if like mother nature would literally fix itself. Well, that's the thing. It's like, it will. The thing is like- it has to humans won't exist past a certain point because like we won't be able to like inhabit this planet mm -hmm. anymore because like it will be so hard for us to live yeah but like once we're gone but earth is still be, gonna keep going yeah like earth is never gonna be destroyed it's yeah. gonna revitalize itself humanity is just gonna be destroyed yeah anywho love y'all <laughs> thanks for coming to our coffee talk talk to you later okay bye, bye.